Okay, so in this one, we're going to recreate some of this geometry. I'm sorry, again, I said recreate yet again. Uh, what I mean is create some geometry that matches our set. Uh, so we've got our, our little point cloud going on. We've got it aligned properly. We can see the, uh, the path outlined pretty clearly right in there. Look right there, you can see the path that she's walking on, the hillside, the slope below her, and then uh, everything else, right? So, um, first things first, what we're going to do is, uh, so you can see there's a lot of points. I don't know if this is showing up on the, on this uh, screen recorder, but there's little points here, 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 there's one out here even. And they are far away from this thing, right? So that's way in the distance back there. Uh, if I turn this up, maybe... I mean, I, I still... You'll never be able to see it. It's just too far away. So uh, we're going to convert this to uh, geometry, right? But we're not going to go <laughs> this far back because that's just insane. We don't need that much. We're just worried about this mountainside. We're going to put... Our uh, map painting stuff on this mountain mostly and maybe on this back mountain a little bit so we don't need to get too uh, crazy so we if we select I'm selecting this far far back one right uh, I can see it kind of did some of this wrong right for some reason it is seeing all right that's not uh, that's not correct this one here is not right so we're not going to use that one right um, I wonder if I can, can I go back there and, can I, I don't know if this works or not, but if I go in here, and if I select, what is it, that one? Which one is that? 31. Do they number those over here? Right, that's kind of right there. Yeah, that one. Do they number those? I don't know. I don't even know where to see those things. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I don't even know where those would turn up. Can I go selected? Constraints, camera solver. No, I can't see that one. Uh, if I go in here, motion tracking, and I delete that one, will it vanish from here? Yes, it did. Excellent. All right, so that's good. Um, so that one won't confuse us. So now we've got these two far. See these two right here? I don't want to see where those are. There they are. There's one. And let's see where is this one. That one's the next one back. And then there's even, uh, there's a couple, uh, at least one even further back still. Uh, but we can see uh, how much we're going to actually need. There's one there. There's one. Um, so I think what we're going to do is kind of see this area here where these mountains are. This stuff. I think that's as far back as we're going to go. I think I'm going to delete those once I make this geometry. So let's go back to motion tracking. And under solve, there's a geometry tab. And uh, we're going to use 3D markers to mesh. And what that's going to do is turn every marker, right, all these dots, into a mesh. It's not going to, uh, it's not going to create an actual face it's going to turn all these points into vertices and then we'll create the faces ourselves. Uh, a little bit of a manual process, um, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. Um, so let's just go ahead and click 3D markers to mesh. Click that. Nothing happens, right? Go back to default and it still looks like nothing's happened. And if we hide our motion tracking, you can see there's still points there those are the vertices you can select them now and you can see them right uh so there we go so what are we going to do first first let's delete some of those look at how far away they go huh oh geez i just wrecked it let me go tab and just select a few in here and zoom to those ones so we can see those Uh, it's pretty crazy. It's interesting how there seems to be two close to each other a lot. That's very interesting. See that? I don't know what that's all about. 
Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's very interesting. All right. So anyway. Uh, oh, maybe it's points that I tracked manually and then uh, popped up when we did the detect features, right? So anyway, we're going to select this one. Where's that? Where's that at? This guy and this guy. So those are the last two, right? We don't want anything. I'm going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to select all those ones. Then I'm going to go control invert. Oh, you know what? Look at that. That's those. What are these? These are those far back ones, huh? Yeah. All right. So anyway, we're going to, uh, we're going to select these guys here. Uh, yeah, let's just select these ones. See those guys. Where's this one? That one's on the mountain. Let's just do that. I'm going to hold down control and select those ones. Then I'm going to go control I invert, right? Um, so I've got all these ones out here selected, the crazy ones. Uh, I've got a few in here selected, but I'm also going to hit C and just kind of middle mouse button a little bit and C again and just try and uh, unselect those if I can. Oh, and I lost them right where they at. Uh, I broke it. I broke it. Um, right. <laughs> Uh, my viewport is kind of crazy, so uh, let's do this. All right, so I've got that, and let's see this one. This one, where's this one at? Right there. What about this one? No, we don't need that one. This one's fine. You know, select all of them and control invert. And I just don't know why uh, those are selecting. Uh, but let's, um, do we need them? I think we do though. So let's go in here and just see, try this again, try and deselect as many as we can. Um, you know what, actually maybe if I go to wireframe, it would let me get rid of all those. There we go. That's what I wanted. All right. So now all we've got selected are the really far ones that we don't need. And I'm going to hit X to delete those vertices. And do we definitely need this one? I think we do. It's weird. Uh, our solve isn't perfect, right? Because this one's kind of in front of that one, but it's not here. I'm going to delete that one as well. Delete. And I'm going to uh, select a bunch of points here. Let's see here. Let's see here. Uh, come on here. C. Grab those. There we go. And... These ones, I'm just going to, I'm going to turn off the motion tracking things and let's go ahead and start building a scene, right? So I'm going to grab four points and I'm going to click F, creates a face right in there. Um, I'm going to go, we're kind of at the end here, right? Go back to the beginning and I'm going to select a few more here, just four, and I'm going to hit F, create another face, and I'm going to go back to the end. I'm going to select uh, these three, this one, this one, and this one, which I know are on the path. I'm going to hit F again, right? So now I've got three little panels, three faces that represent the path, which is exactly what I wanted. Uh, so how do we turn that uh, into a better path. That's probably uh, actually all we really need, to be honest. Select those, hit F. Uh, select this, 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 and this. Hit F. And we've pretty much got our path, right? So you can come in here and uh, now that we have it, we can kind of, I'm going to go top view, orthographic, and just kind of move these around a little bit to kind of really represent that path a bit. And I'm just being careful to do this in the top orthographic uh, because I don't want to mess anything up in uh, in actual 3D space. I'm just kind of uh, I just want to move it along this uh, you know this flat the flat plane represented uh, representative of the path. 
So there we go. And if we scroll down to the end, look at that. That path just lines up perfectly, which is exactly what we wanted. And we can actually, um, let's do this. What's, where's this guy at? Oh, it's far down there. That's weird. Huh. It's a very interesting spot for a point. Oh, I guess it's kind of on this hillside, not down there. Um, I'm going to select that and that and hit um, uh, subdivide, right? W, subdivide. It'll drop one more in there. And I'm going to hit G, kind of drag it out there a little bit. All right, like that. Move that guy right there. There we go. So now we've got the path blocked in, right? G a little bit. I'm still probably set to 3D cursor. I can go medium point. It makes more sense, right? Uh, okay, so anyway. Uh, tab, Z. There's our path. Path lines up great. Uh, it's still a part of this huge thing, though, right? So uh, it might be good to have a separate path. So I'm going to go ahead and cl click the face mode. One, two, three, four. Right. Make sure. Make sure that's all you get selected. Unselect everything. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Those faces. And I'm going to duplicate them. Shift D, Enter, Tab. Oh no. Go back. Uh, P. That's what I want to do. Selection. Separate by selection, uh, so that now that path uh, is a new one, right? So if we go back to vertex mode, this one still has all those, but if we select the other one, we've only got a few things, right? So we're going to select the, uh, the one with lots of points, and we're going to move that to this other layer, so we don't have to worry about it too much yet, right? So this one on layer 6 has all of our points. This one on layer one has only those points for the path. So we're basically building geometry from that point cloud and then duplicating just the faces we need and moving them to their own layer so that we're not swarmed with all of these uh, extra points. So with that thing selected, I'm going to actually go origin to geometry. And that way we can always orbit right around it if we have it selected and it looks great. So let's go back to this layer select that guy hit tab again so we're looking at all our faces again and we're going to start building this uh mountainside here so i'm just going to start grabbing some faces right two one two three four and i'm going to hit f f right and this is really it now is to uh to kind of go through here and kind of connect the dots basically is what we're going to do uh, you want to make sure when you're doing this that you do select ones that are, uh, you know, already connected to a a face you've just made, uh, or you can, um, you know, don't select new every time. Deselect your old ones, like I just did, and uh, let me turn this down a little bit so we can see a little bit better. And I'm gonna select this one and this one and hit F. So then I deselect these two, and let's see, what else do we got? I've got uh, this one and this one, F. And I'm going to deselect these two, and select this one and this one, and F. So you can see down here, we're building our mountainside. Uh, up here, I'm going to deselect, deselect, and so, oh, don't, need, don't deselect that one, deselect that one. Select that one and pick one of those guys. F. Um, oop, not what I wanted. Stay in the camera. Deselect and deselect. And I'm going to pick, I guess, maybe this one. And this one. And hit F. Let's see, let's see here. Uh, not many points up there left. So I'm actually just going to do a, a three sided uh, triangle. Hit F. And now I can deselect those two and select that one and that one and maybe that one. F. Uh, and, you know, this doesn't have to be perfect or anything. Um, we're basically just really trying to block this in uh, as 
as efficiently as possible so they can be big they don't have to be super detailed uh, yeah these faces I mean um, leave that one F and we know where we're gonna put that bridge uh, if we look at the uh, elements this is the uh, map painting here let me show this to you uh, and we know where we're gonna put this uh, the hut is gonna be kinda on this a little further away and then a little bit closer is gonna be this bridge so we're gonna need to know at least where the mountain is in this area uh, and then I've got another map painting element that puts a castle back here if you want uh, I'd love to see people add in their own things, uh, but that's this is kind of the area that we're going to focus on. So that's kind of where we need to build our geometry here. We need to make sure that we get things uh, at least that far back, right? So I hit F again, deselect, deselect, select that one, and another one, and F. Uh, so there we go. We're kind of getting our mountain going here. Looks pretty good. Uh, let's see, let's see, uh, I'm going to make a triangle right there, and deselect that one, and select that one, and that one. That should be a face, it's a weird one, but it's there. Uh, I don't like that one very much. Um, should we leave it? Uh, we'll leave it, alright, we'll leave it for now. Uh, I don't like it very much. I don't like uh, because it's it's uh, it's kind of this tree. It's not the you know what? Let's undo that because uh, that's that tree. It's not the ground. So I'd rather leave it actually. Uh, all right. So let's keep going. Um, let's do a few of those far back ones. Yeah. Let's see what do we got here? I'm just gonna select those and hit F. And select this and this and this. Hit F. See, we're building some faces here. And select, 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 F. And you can see we're kind of building more. It's looking pretty good. And I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, F. And deselect these two and select that one, F. So I'm kind of building, I'm trying to build the ground up to, uh, up to where we are a little bit at least. Um, but I don't know if it's going to make it or not. That's probably fine, right? That's probably fine. So if we scroll around, we can kind of see that's sort of working. Um, that's not really working, is it? Let's undo. Um, I'm going to delete a couple edges here. Delete, delete, X, just the edges. It may have deleted, it did delete the point anyway, but whatever. Uh, hit F there. I think that's probably fine. Uh, that other one was doing something a little bit weird. Um, but I think we're good here, right? One. I guess we can go down a little further here. Uh, no. See how those, those two I picked are on this close... Uh, these bushes here so we don't want that uh, we we could live with them if they were down here but uh, I think I think this is gonna be alright so let's go back to faces and make sure we don't have anything selected hit that pick one face on there and hit L and it will select all the linked faces and then I'm gonna hit shift D again to duplicate all of them hit enter and then hit P to separate by selection tab select just that face and move it to the first layer and select this one again select that hit L and shift D enter P to separate and tab select just that one and move it to that first layer so when we go back to the first layer now uh, and with that piece of geometry selected I'm gonna go origin to geometry and this one origin to geometry so now these are all very clean pieces of geometry uh, they've got uh, they've got their own origins and uh, everything's very nice on them so just to be sure this one looks a little funky here um, I'm gonna select everything on that and I'm gonna recalculate those normals just to make sure everything's good there 
and I probably do that here too. I'll select them all, recalculate, and let's do that on the path as well, just so we don't get any weird um, display errors or render errors, anything like that. All right, so there we go. Now we've got our uh, our geometry to kind of start uh, start laying things out, right? We gotta have an idea of where things are. It's not uh, it's not crazy complex, but it does let us know here's the mountainside, the path, and the far background. So, uh, in our next tutorial, we will uh, we will start uh, bringing in uh, the map paintings and placing things and and getting those ready for uh, compositing. Uh, don't forget to save. Uh, again, I'm going to save as version 2. Uh, my version 3 was a backup test thing, so I'm just going to save over my version 2. And uh, and that's it. And then you can also, if, if you really want to be fancy, you know, you can always do a, not a constraint, it's ridiculous, a uh, subdivision surface. Kind of turn it up. Gives you a little bit of a better idea. All right, a little smoother. Uh, something like that. And this one, uh, I'm not sure if that's, yeah, whatever, that's fine. And we can smooth them, smooth, smooth. And this one, this one probably doesn't need a subdivision, does it? Eh, why not? What the heck? While we're at it. So there we go. I've left that ground plane in there. It doesn't need to be in there, but I'm just going to leave it. It's not hurting anything. And uh, it will always give me, uh, because I've got my viewport set to rotate around selected, it will always give me something to kind of select around. Uh, I'm also going to name these actually while we're at it. Let's name these real quick. Selected. Just do all scenes. What did I just move? I just moved something, right? Oh, jeez. I'm breaking everything. All right. Uh, right here, this is the pathway geo. Uh, if I could type. And this is the mountain geo. And this is the far background geo. So there we go. Nice and clean. Everything makes sense. And uh, tracks is what's on this other layer. Our crazy geometry. Uh, if we go to that, we've still got all those vertices there if you need them for anything. But otherwise, uh, they're good on that layer. Uh, in fact, now that we're kind of done with these, I'm actually going to move them to one of these other layers like that just to kind of keep my main... I tend to think of this first block as like my main working layers. And I think of this other block as my uh, where to put things I don't need. Uh, or I may need or may need to refer back to. Uh, so uh, that's just my way of working. You can put them on whatever layers you'd like. Uh, that's how I like to roll. So anyway, um, there we go. Things are looking good. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Save and see you then.